well, the journey of the build. It's an incredible journey, actually. Um, I can't really believe it's uh, finally come to a conclusion. Well, I'd say, first of all, it's far tougher than I anticipated. It's probably the, 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 the greatest challenge I've ever faced professionally. We had a, a nightmare with the British weather, of course. It's probably been the worst summer in 50 years. And most of it fell on our, on our heads while we were doing the build. There were lots of funny moments uh, with the Laurel and Hardy of the team, uh, Tony and Will. What have I learned from this build after, what, 30 years of experience? Number one, never do it again. <laughs> now that's not true. To do a self-build or a build out in the ground, yeah, it's been really enjoyable. So you, you have so much control about the design. Uh, if you want to personalise the house, you can do. If you do embrace eco-friendly elements, the amount of money that you can save is really considerable. I mean, I think that we'll probably be able to run this house for about £250 a year. Ah, well, the million dollar question. Did you do it in 60 days for 60 grand? Well, the short answer is no. <laughs> 68 days. But then, of course, we've spent seven days at least doing the garden. So, and that's not really building the house. So it's 61 days. We were one day over. And if you take into consideration the terrible, horrific weather that we've had, I think really, for one day, you could probably allow me that, you know. We have done it. And all I'm going to say to you now is have a look and judge it for yourself. Furnishing and landscaping were never included in the budget. As for the basic build, that came to 60,450 quid, and that's good enough for me. So, can you build an eco-friendly house for 60 grand in 60 days? Yes, actually you can. <laughs>